My name is Michael Collins. I'm a senior lecturer in clinical skills. Um, I do the simulation coordination for the Faculty of Applied Sciences at the University of Sunderland. Uh, this is SimMom. Uh, SimMom is one of the latest generation of simulation mannequins. Uh, we've been very lucky in that we didn't have to pay for this. What's happened is a company called MSD, who are based in the northeast, um, donated some money um, and asked for bids. And along with a, a charity called Baby Lifeline and City Hospitals, they combined they put in a bid and they were lucky enough to win. And as a result of that money, we got Sim Mom, who was essentially about forty thousand pounds worth of kit. Um, and what she does is, as you can see, she simulates a pregnant lady. The idea being that in collaboration with the, the, the midwives and the trainees at the hospital and with some of the, um, the students that we're going to have here in the near future, we can train students and, and qualified midwives on not just normal deliveries but complicated deliveries. The, the thinking being that a normal labour, a normal pregnant pregnancy is fine and there's nothing goes wrong and the lady can go in and give birth and come out with a baby and everything's happy. Um, the problem then comes when there's a problem arises and you can't simulate or it's difficult to get the experience of a complicated delivery. Uh, so what this does is simulate the complica complicated stuff. It can do the normal stuff, it can, but what we really want is to give people the experience of the complicated, the emergencies, the critical incidents, so that if it should happen in real life, then they've had some sort of experience. It's not perfect, it's not perfect by any stretch, but it's as close as we can make it at the moment. And at the end of the day, nobody gets hurt. There's no deaths. And the students, if there's anything go wrong, we can stop the simulation and we can say, right, what went wrong? And then we can go back to the beginning and we can start again. And hopefully at the end of the simulation, everybody's happy. Everybody's got an experience of something that they would not necessarily get a normal day-to-day -day practice, but they'll have an idea that should it happen, God forbid it, it should, should it happen that um, they'll have an idea of what to do. Um, when, it, when the press release was on mm -hmm. and there was lots of comments about from members of the public about midwives learning on real people yeah. but you can't you don't get real people to have you can't can you come in and have a complicated delivery no thank you very much yeah yeah, so, yeah I can um, understand the difficulties yeah so uh, essentially what we're going to do at the minute this is going to be used by uh, the doctors and nurses midwives from the trust um, we have got a recently validated paramedic program that will be starting early next year. So the paramedics who paramedics deliver babies, the paramedics can come in and they'll have an experience. They can have normal delivery, which hopefully they all are, but again, complicated deliveries. So the paramedics will come in and hopefully in the future we might get trainee nurses, student nurses coming in of our own. And again, they can be um, involved in this as well.